So this gives you kind of like the best of both worlds. You mentioned in the unboxing that this is the first PDE in a very long time. The BenQ includes the official Adobe RGB 1998 color spec in it, and it can cover 99%. It can also do 99% P3 along with 100% sRGB and Rex 109, which is really good. Now, as far as the panel coding go, when I was unboxing this, I was looking at the panel and the reflectivity of it and you can see right now as I'm turning it towards the light you can tell the shape of the light a little bit and if I take another panel that has the nanomatic coating it's pretty much like totally matte it diffused everything entirely so I wasn't really sure because when BenQ told me this was a nanomatic coating I'm like well it's not that matte what they have told me is for this particular model, they applied a nanomat coating, but not in the high percentage or like 100% like they did in the recent models from BenQ. So this is more of like a hybrid. It does have the nanomat coating on there, and it is definitely a little bit more matte than the previous matte, just the regular matte display from BenQ. And I have tested side by side. So this gives you kind of like the best of both worlds. You still get the anti-reflection, you still get the diffuse matte, but you also get more saturated colors at the same time. This is a pretty good balance, I think, but you know, when you see this in person, let me know what you think down the road.